One way to read minds is to use psychological techniques, such as observing body language, facial expressions, eye movements, and tone of voice, to pick up clues about what someone is feeling or thinking. These techniques can help us understand the general mood, attitude, and personality of others, but they are not very reliable or precise. They can also be influenced by our own biases, expectations, and cultural differences. Superscript 1. Another way to read minds is to use brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, which are devices that connect the brain to a computer or a machine. BCIs can measure the electrical activity of the brain using electrodes attached to the scalp, or the blood flow response to brain activity using functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI. These signals can then be decoded by artificial intelligence algorithms, which can translate them into words, images, or actions. Superscript 2, Superscript 3, BCIs can be used to read minds in different scenarios, such as Reconstructing speech or text from brain activity Some BCIs can decode the brain activity of people who are listening to or imagining speech, and generate a continuous stream of text that reflects what they are hearing or thinking. This can be useful for people who have lost their ability to speak due to stroke, injury, or disease, and want to communicate with others. Reconstructing images or scenes from brain activity Some BCIs can decode the brain activity of people who are watching or imagining images or scenes, and generate a visual representation of what they are seeing or thinking. This can be useful for people who want to share their dreams, memories, or fantasies with others, or for artists who want to create original artworks from their imagination. Asterisk asterisk controlling devices or machines with brain activity. Some BCIs can decode the brain activity of people who are intending to perform an action, such as moving a limb, and use it to control a device or a machine, such as a robotic arm, a wheelchair, or a drone. This can be useful for people who have lost their ability to move due to paralysis, injury, or disease, and want to regain some independence and mobility. BCIs are still in their early stages of development, and they face many challenges and limitations, such as the complexity and variability of the brain. The brain is a highly complex and dynamic organ, with billions of neurons and trillions of connections, that can change over time and across individuals. This makes it difficult to measure and interpret the brain signals accurately and consistently, and to account for the differences in anatomy, physiology, and cognition among people. The invasiveness and risk of the devices Some BCIs require surgical implants, which can pose risks of infection, inflammation, rejection, or damage to the brain tissue. These devices can also degrade over time or cause side effects such as headaches, fatigue, or mood changes. Non-invasive BCIs, such as fMRI, are safer and more comfortable, but they are less sensitive and precise, and they can be affected by external noise or movement. The ethical and social implications of the technology BCIs raise many ethical and social questions, such as, who owns the data collected from the brain? How can the privacy and security of the data be ensured? How can the consent and autonomy of the users be respected? How can the potential misuse or abuse of the technology be prevented? How can the social and psychological impact of the technology on the users and society be assessed? Mind reading is a fascinating and promising field of research that can offer many benefits and opportunities for people who want to communicate, create, or control with their minds. However, it also poses many challenges and risks that need to be addressed and regulated with care and caution. Mind reading is not a magic trick, but a scientific endeavor that requires a lot of collaboration, innovation, and responsibility.